Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Today I am showing you how to transform this pine cabinet into a kid's kitchen. So my children have been asking me for a play kitchen, and I wanted to get a wooden one that I could work on and make my own. So I found this piece on Facebook Marketplace. And it was the perfect size. It had a dry sink. I could just see the potential. I could see what it could become. So I knew that I wanted some wood showing. So I wanted to make this their sort of pretend cutting board and counter. So I sanded this to raw wood in the drawer, just like this. As you can see, I got carried away and sanded the drawers, but I don't want them raw wood. <laughs> and also I scuff sanded the entire piece and then started cleaning it with just a rag and my cred cutter. So I made sure that it was completely clean because there was a lot of dirt on there. Now I usually, in all my videos, if you've watched them before, I always use my Kills Primer Spray, but today I am just spraying it with the BIM Primer 123 right away. And then if there's any bleed through, which there was, I ended up spraying over those bleed through spots with the Kills Primer Spray. So I sort of, waited for it to show through first. Once I had done about two to three coats of the primer, I sanded in between coats with my 400 grit sandpaper. Once all that was done, I then started to spray with my paint. Now this is country sheet paint in crinoline. It's hard to see, but I am spraying it and you can see right there the paint coming out and this is with my Wagner Flexio 5000 sprayer. And I did about probably two, two, three coats of the crinoline and then I also sanded with 1000 grit sanding block in between the paint coats. So I wanted this to be farmhouse country, and so I did distress the edges. I used my orbital sander, which I've been doing lately. I find I really like how it distresses the paint. And then I had to add some fun pieces to it, so I added some tissue paper. Now this tissue paper was more of a vintage design, which I really loved, and it was so pretty, so I added those to all of the drawer sides, including the large one. Now I did add a transfer, which you will see in a bit, but I didn't record it. So I did add the transfer onto the, the panels and the drawers. I do have other videos, which I'll put a link here, showing how I add transfers to furniture. I just didn't show it here. Now with the tissue paper, I brushed clear coat on, and then here I'm just measuring and cutting the tissue paper with my utility knife. So brush clear coat, or you can use Mod Podge, but use a really thin layer of it onto the drawer side. Place the tissue paper on top, and then you're gonna brush clear coat on top of that to seal it. And it will cure and harden just like this. And brush a good, a good amount on it, making sure all the wrinkles are out. Once all that was done, I was ready to top coat the entire piece. So I'm spraying Country Chic Pink Clear Coat here. And then after I'd sprayed the clear coat, I did about two coats of it. I sanded with a thousand sanding block again. And I'm just showing you a close up here of me spraying the clear coat onto the drawer. And then it was time to add the hardware. Now this was the original ceramic candles. And this is what it looks like. How cute is this? Now don't go anywhere because I am going to take you on a trip to the thrift store to show you what I got for my kids to play with. Isn't this adorable? I just absolutely love how it turned out. It is so pretty with the paper, the transfers, and I used my mom's um, beautiful pretty china to stage this piece. And I put tissue paper on all the drawer sides. And I just, the, the kids love it. Like, just love how it turned out. And now all it needs is some play 
kitchen bowls and things. So I'm gonna take you on a trip. I'm about to go into the thrift store and I thought that I would bring you along with me. I've never done this before, so <laughs> this is a first where I'm bringing my camera and I'll be recording what I'm going to be picking. Um, I mean, I've done little thrift store videos before, but um, I thought that I would do this on YouTube and show you what I'm going to get. So I need to get like play kitchen sets or uh, cups and saucers for my kids so that they can play um, with the kitchen that I did. So let's go. Let's see what I can find. So I ended up getting um, a couple of dishes and some cups and I got a little saucepan. I actually found some kids play kitchen toys. They're very mini, but <laughs> my kids will love it anyway. So that's about it for now. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it for now. And next week I will have a new video up on Sunday at 3 p.m. again. So thanks again. Have a great day.